Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandy. Thank y'all so much for stopping by and watching today's video. Today's video is going to be a collab with Charlie over on Charlie's Country Cottage. So if you haven't yet checked out Charlie's channel, y'all need to do so. She has a beautiful home, a beautiful cottagey home. It is amazing. And um, I love how she decorates. So I'll insert some pictures so y'all can take a look at Charlie's house. It is gorgeous. And if you're coming from Charlie's channel, hey y'all and welcome to mine. So today's video is going to be, we're going to refresh up the coffee bar, refresh up the little dining area and the corner hutch. And also I have made a few things and um, I didn't get all of it on video, but if y'all would like, we can also do a video on that, Charlie and I separate. We both kind of made like an anthropology dupe for the vase. So if y'all would like to see that, let Charlie and I know so we can do that video. Hers turned out gorgeous. But so you will probably see those in this video and I will show you whenever I get to that. But yeah, so let's just get started and thank y'all so much for stopping by. Okay, and also before I get started, I know a lot of y'all like to know where I got my graphic tees at. Okay, so this one right here is a Rolling Stones, and it came from Target. So, I think it's pretty cute. It's a little oversized. This is a size small, medium, and it has plenty of room in it. So, but yeah, this came from Target. Just thought I would let you know that. I'll try to link it down below if I can find it. Okay, so I'm going to give the coffee bar a good wipe down. This is just a speaker and it pretty much stays on here. Let me get my hair out of the way. So, and then also I painted my coffee mug rack over there. It was black, so I spray painted that white. And um, I just think it looks better white. I know not everything needs to be white, but for me, if I keep things neutral, then I can add things in with color. So, you know, especially like for the seasons, if I want to add red in there, I can. If I want to add blue, green, purple, whatever color, you can add it in if you have a neutral base. So, uh, that's what I do. And these shelves right here, my husband actually built these for me. He made the little corable. So, this is just, I'll find out what wood he used, and then he just made these little chunky corbels for me. The, the stand that I keep for my coffee bar, this was a marketplace find, and I want to say I'll give $100 for it. I redid the whole thing, and um, so yeah, so let's just get started on this area, and um, let's give it a good wipe down. Rusty red on her shoulder, I was cleaning her shoe When it clicked on the trot over in the bright morning dew We brushed and we braided dandelions and shoes Okay, so this cabinet is from Hobby Lobby about three years ago So what I did is I just painted it and distressed it because it was just that brown color and I'm just not a big fan of that. So I tea stained some little pieces of notebook paper and I just put the numbers one through 12 on there to kind of give it that vintagey look. So if you have one of these and you want to change it up, this is a good way to change it up. So yeah, just chalk paint it, add you some numbers in those little slots and it's good to go. Two. Was a mutual arrangement we both saw into. But can she walk in the fire? Can she run in the rain? Can she make it up the mountainside? Can she make it down again? I have often wondered if she'll go in. Jump the fence. Will she keep on moving onward or stay in what could have been? Broke my arm in December. We were running for the thrill. You turned in the canyon to the snowbank where I fell. Still, I remember knowing she could feel it too. Okay, so 
So I went ahead and popped my canisters on there. These are the canisters from Hobby Lobby. I just think they're so cute with the little hobnails on there. So this one has my coffee in there. So I'm going to go ahead and pop those right in the middle because I know I want those there. So. Wasn't it your arrangement? We both knew what to do. She had a star on her forehead that was easy to find. When I let down her bridal, I saw into her hazel eyes. We had a deep understanding, never had to use a bit. Can she walk in the fire? Can she run in the rain? Can she make it up the mountainside? Can she make it down again? I have often wondered if she'll go and jump the fence. Will she keep on? Okay, so I had to straighten that up a little bit better. So I think that's how I like it. So we're going to move on. I have to make sure that we can get the coffee down good and we can I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time this little stand that I made. I made this out of a vintage candlestick and I just went and I purchased some wood from Hobby Lobby, painted it white, did a little bit of gold distressing on it. Now, I did not come up with this idea on my own. I actually seen it on a girl named Stacy from Instagram and she has a beautiful home and I will leave her Instagram account right here and y'all go check her out. Her home is absolutely beautiful. Tell her I sent you over. Uh, but yeah, so this is, if you have a lot of vintage candlesticks, which I do, so I thought this was a great idea. So I'm gonna put that. Just watch me break in your sweat. You're falling into me, touch me, I swear. You would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn. antique candle co candle to keep right there and i will leave my link link down below if y'all want to check them out this is mama's kitchen these candles are absolutely amazing if you haven't tried them yet y'all should do so one candle will get your whole house smelling delicious but don't you try to call me tomorrow there's nothing personal in having a little fun Watch me break in
I purchased off of marketplace for $25 I just repainted it and I think it turned out really good so uh yeah so let's just get started decorating this little area Shut up. Will you say what's 